this is kind of what it's like to make a record. Usually there aren't this many people in the room, but... <laughs> we ran into each other at the bank, Michael and I, and we started talking about the fact that he had recently, you know, uh, started a business in the whole building at, at Coast, the whole first floor. He was now, he was now the dude there. And he had said that he wanted to do a live record and he asked if I would be interested because I had just released the studio version of Stop and Go and did, would I want to reproduce it live? And, and immediately, I mean, yeah, that sounds great. It's an easy thing to say. <laughs> it's not such an easy thing to do. Well, it's more like there's something and less like there's nothing there at all. The fourth time was like the first one. I still wasn't waiting on your call. No, not at all You're not keeping your eye on the ball Leading up to it, it was very, very exciting, not just because Michael Romanowski, who has basically his pick of, you know, any of the insanely talented musicians in the Bay Area was asking me to do this, you know, and I knew anything that he would be involved in would be great, but also the fact that I got to reconstruct the songs as they were on the recording in a live setting, which means that I get to involve so many of my incredibly talented friends to pull that off. Because when you do things in a studio, you do them track by track and song by song and you know one sound at a time, but when you do them live, you have to do them live. So we had to compensate for lots of different stuff. And a lot of the same folks that played on the record were a part of the live thing, but when we actually sat down to rehearse and I got to hear it all live for the first time. It was like, whoa, it was so cool. And you cry like a baby when maybe's not good enough for you. And your tall eyes are flowing, you a river running deep and wide and blue. What you gonna do? This was like the, the song that I wrote initially that made me go, I really want to do an acoustic record because this was a, on all the years that I've been in, in Pine and Battery, my rock band, I've, I've written snippets of songs that were just more folky or less rock band appropriate. And I said, when I, when I wrote Left Side, I was like, man, I want to make a record of this stuff. So I did. Even when there's silence all the time. It's never quiet in your mind You never write this line Cause you can't find the right words that rhyme Take four, fourth chair. <laughs> fourth time to chair. Good thing it's not 12th Street. <laughs> he does this, by the way. You'll learn this over the next hour, so Michael is full of the one-liners. All right, here we go. Because this song is about, you know, us as dudes realizing that, you know, we're, you know, in a lot of ways, sometimes we screw up and we're inferior and we realize what we did wrong and our, 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 our counterparts forgive us for it. And, you know, we say things like, well, I'm, you know, I'm 4th Street and you're 5th Avenue. It's just a metaphor for, you know, you're so great and I'm just so me, you know. Well, who can say I'm not allowed to drop the ball every once in a while? But this is gone on 
farther now than most would say is acceptable. Well, I could change, you know, but I won't. I could stop it with all the stop and go. And now you say you're not coming out of the house for at least an hour. This is Larissa Waters. <laughs> This is an old song, this song's called Southern. And you take a second to step out Force an end to this tirade I can say I'm southern from the way I That I've headed northbound And pass the thought to the something I can say I've wanted for years now I And this time I'm right my patient disguise that shows you all oh, that I'm right and southern from the way I. I know. When we did the studio version of it, a week or two before we recorded it, I'd played a show with Austin Willisey, one of the backup singers, and in the round show, we were all playing on each other's stuff. And I'd said that I was going to do a melancholy song, like a down number, and, and Austin goes, well, I'll just beatbox on it and make it more upbeat. And I thought he was kidding, and it turns out he wasn't. And initially, I was a little, like, you know, stunned by it, but then the more we rolled with it at that show, the better it sounded. So we just said, the heck with it, we're just going to put it on the album. And you really can't, if you don't know it's there, you almost can't hear it on the recorded version. But at the live version, there's really no way to cover up the fact that, you know, Austin, this, this big guy, is, is standing there beatboxing over the song. <laughs> you know that I can be a little bit off. My head's always down and my eyes full. You know, to stay down the hall in your room. And the punches come from all sides, so baby. Trading dollars for dimes, and I go. I've always wanted to record this song. I've always wanted to do my own version of it. And on this record, Charlie and I were talking about it, and the plan was initially going to be in my head to just do like a one guitar, one vocal thing. And we brought it up in the studio to listen to the original Cars version, and. Charlie goes, now nah, we gotta have some fun with this. And who's gonna pick you up when you fall? And who's gonna hang it up when you call? 
call Who's gonna pay attention To your dreams yeah, Who's gonna plug the ears When you scream Can't go on thinking that nothing's wrong. Oh, who's gonna drive me home gonna hold you down when you shake you know I was I was going through some stuff you know in my life just you know a couple of really tough weeks but it passed like things have a tendency to do and after that I realized that like you know sometimes especially when you're going through things it's really easy to go out and look elsewhere for what you really need and all you really need is something that's usually right in front of you something that you have at home with the people that you love and the things that you've created for yourself and yeah you'll lose stuff and gain stuff along the way but you know I, I as as a person have a tendency to lose sight of all the wonderful things and people that I have in my life so I kind of wrote a song to remind myself and the places you put on the map are where you go when everything is changing When the clouds are looking black You look outside to see that it stopped raining Here we go Whoa, oh, 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 oh. It stopped raining Whoa, oh, 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 oh. It stopped raining Yes, it did. Thank you very much, so much for that. It was wonderful. So much. We should get a really big bus and take this show on the road. Too much is coming out in the wash And it ain't laundry day Laundry Day is the one, is the rock song on the acoustic record. I mean, I, I couldn't make a record without rocking out at least one time. You know, the, the song itself is, is an older tune that, that you know, it's just something I'd been kicking around for a while ID-wise, and it was nice to finally with the studio recording, finally get it out, like out of my head and, and on to wax and, you know, to be able to do it again in a live setting with the Live at Coast version was just a ton of fun. And somehow I always knew it would turn out this way As plain as the nose on your face is the end of the day We have so many good, amazing friends and people that are in this network that it's tough to pinpoint like 
what path we took to get to where we are with each other and right. there's just so many different avenues that we could go who knows but yeah it's because of all the amazing people so many good people and and just uh, the interweaving and how everybody plays with everybody and kind of gets together mm -hmm. and, and then just hanging outside of yep that's something you know that's that's the whole idea of this thing for me is that it's just it's like the podcast with renee it's mm -hmm. like just bringing people together and just sort of sharing the human side of making music in this area. There's so many, we all hang out together anyway, why not film it, you know, and record it. Film it and record it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys.